Yo, what's up guys? It's Random Coasters. Welcome back to another video. And today, uh, I didn't know I was gonna come here, but I am at Six Flags over Georgia. I'm, don't, I'm not gonna be able to do too much. Um, two rides, maybe three, maybe, we'll see. Probably two rides, maybe three though. So this is gonna be a short vlog. But like, this is a completely surprise video. I didn't know I was coming here. And so like, I'm gonna do Twisted Cyclone first. I see it testing right now. I've gotten a few shots already. And then Goliath is gonna be my other one. If I have time for a third, probably Georgia Scorcher, I'm thinking, because I'm interested to try a stand-up coaster. Daredevil Dive would probably get a long line. And I don't know. It would be a decision between Georgia Scorcher and Mindbender. But, but like, I'm so excited because this is my first ever time here. So I would like a full day, but like obviously we have stuff going on today. We can't do a uh, full day. But yeah, I'm here. I'm so excited to get on. Twisted Cyclone especially. Looks like an amazing RMC. Possibly will end up being my number one, but we'll see. I'm so excited, guys. So I'm gonna like go get into the park and I'll see you guys after I get on something. Okay, so I didn't update in between, but I just rode Twisted Cyclone and Goliath. Twisted Cyclone is really, really good. Rode in the back row. It's actually kind of crawling, but it's still like incredible, amazing ejector at two points. Uh, a little bit of hang time in the inversions. That was crazy. That's, I don't think it's quite my number one because I love run, but I think that might be my number two. Goliath has a very strong rattle at the bottom of the drop, but the floater is amazing and the helix is really intense. So, uh, we're gonna go check out Superman now, I think, if it's open. But yeah, Goliath's really good. I think that's definitely my top five, probably. Loving this park so far. Like, I only have like half an hour left here, but I love it. So I'm gonna go rush to something else and I'll see you in a second. Alright, two rides later, I just got off of Mindbender. Um, I did Superman Ultimate Flight, the flying coaster. Pretty fun. It ran a lot faster than the one at Great America that I've already ridden. Super Loop is loud. It ran a lot faster than the one at Great America that I've ridden. But I would not say that the Pretzel Loop was as intense as the one at Great America. And it had better uh, terrain than Great America. So it was fun. Uh, nothing like that made me go wild, but it was really fun. Mindbender? Mindbender is very overrated. It's good. It's it's fun. The first loop was not 
that forceful. Batman's loops are a lot more forceful. Um, all the turns were a little bit rough, but like they weren't really intense, nothing special. There were two small pops of floater. And then the second loop was the only part that really impressed me on Mindbender. The second loop was really intense. Um, I great add on it for sure. The second loop was the most intense part. But other than that, it didn't impress me that much. Definitely no, the, my least favorite of the coasters we rode in today. Um, but that's actually the last coaster we're going to ride today because now we get to drive four and a half hours. Yay. But ranking of what I did ride, uh, number one, Twisted Cyclone, two, Goliath, three, Superman, and four, Mindbender. Mindbender was good, but sorry guys, it's overrated. Um, yeah, sadly, very sadly, that's going to do it for my day at Six Flags Over Georgia. What I did do here, I really liked. I'm very impressed. Um, it's definitely, it's on par with Great America, if not better. I, it's, it's up there. Uh, probably my third, second or third favorite park. I'll have to think about that. But that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see all of you guys next time. Bye.